Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single time no matter which sport you're betting on. So we're going to take a look at the NHL this week. Uh, for the game's December the 14th. And remember, if you're not already a member, please join. You can uh, have access to the VIP club section with all these great tools to help you make your picks more easily and more efficiently. So we're going to scroll down here for some of the games from in the NHL. As we're approaching the end of the 2019 calendar year, the matchups are starting to heat up and the races are starting to heat up. So let's take a look at what we have. The first game I want to take a look at is Buffalo Sabres and New York Islanders. So you can see here right now uh, that Buffalo is average status and New York Islanders are average up. Buffalo has won three out of their last six games. You see the Islanders have won four out of their last six games. Um, the Sabres head into New York third in the Atlantic Division, and the Islanders are second in the Metropolitan Division. Look at the head-to-head -head matchup. Notice that the Islanders won the first meeting by a two, or excuse me, by a one-nothing score as a road underdog back on November the second. So look at the power ranking indicator. You see here that the Islanders have a plus 22 to plus six advantage there. If you're considering the over and under. You take a look here, you will see that Buffalo is playing in games trending over. The Islanders are playing in games trending well under. You might want to go with the under since the Islanders are trending in games farther under than Buffalo is trending over. You probably want to go with the under on this one. If you look at the uh, volatility oscillator, how stable are the two teams so far? Notice that both are moderately stable at plus four, so they're both performing pretty consistently according to their favorite underdog status would indicate. I feel that the Islanders probably have the advantage playing at home. I look for them to hold on to home ice and take down Buffalo in a very tight contest. So let's take a look at another matchup here. Scroll down through. You see there's a lot of games on tap for the weekend. For December 14th. The next one I want to take a closer look at. Down here in the Dallas Stars and the Nashville Predators. So you look here that Dallas is average up. Nashville is average. Dallas has won their last two after losing their previous four. So they're getting back on track. And you see the Predators have won three out of their last six. And they won their last game on December the 7th by a 6-4 score over New Jersey. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, notice Dallas is at plus 20. Nashville is at plus 8. Head-to-head. -head, Two teams have not played yet this season. This is the first matchup. You want to consider the over-under, and we'll take a look at the totals predictor. You see Dallas is playing in games trending under, the red line compared to the blue line. And you will notice the same thing is holding true for Nashville. That's a very good indication to bet the under. That's going to be a very solid bet in this one. You take a look at the volatility oscillator. How stable are the two teams? See here, Dallas is much more stable at plus seven. Nashville is at minus two, so take their favorite underdog stats with a little bit of grain of salt in this one. So the teams here, if you look at the Central Division, they're both in the Central Division. Dallas is fourth in the division so far, and Nashville is in sixth at the moment. I see Dallas gaining a road victory on this one. I feel like they are heading more in the right direction. They are the stronger team at the moment, so I think they, they will hold on, probably win by a couple of goals. Next matchup is Boston and Florida. This is the matchup of the day. Top two teams in the Atlantic Division will face off in this one with Boston holding the edge. You see their average down at the moment, though, having lost their last three, so they need to get back on track. Florida is burning hot at the moment, winning their last two and three out of their last four. Look at the head to head matchup. You'll see back on November the 12th that Florida won on the road by a 5 4 score as an underdog. Take a look at the power rankings indicator. You see Florida was way up here at plus 28 back on November 23rd. They dipped down to a low of plus 9, and they're back up slightly to plus 11. Boston was at plus 30 back on the 5th, and they have dropped down to plus 26. If you want to consider the over-under in this one, you see Boston is playing in games trending under the line. Florida is playing in games trending way over the line. You notice here the red is way above the blue. 
So I think that would outweigh what Boston has done in their game. So I think that betting the over is probably a safe play in this one. Take a look at the volatility oscillator. How stable are the two teams right now? Boston is very stable at plus 10, performing very well according to the favored underdog status. And Florida is also pretty stable coming in at plus 5. The gut feeling here is that the Bruins will even the score on this one. They will win on the road. And perhaps it will go into overtime. It will be a very good game. Boston will come out on top. Let's take a look at a couple more games here. Scroll down through here. Notice we have the Toronto Maple Leafs at the Edmonton Oilers. Toronto is average status at the moment. They have won three out of their last six. Coming off a 5-2 win against St. Louis. Edmonton's ice cold down. They have lost four out of their last six. Power ranking indicator, you will see that uh, Edmonton is at plus 23, Toronto is at plus 11. Edmonton is somewhat surprising this year. They are leading the Pacific Division at the moment. The Maple Leafs are sitting fifth in the Atlantic Division. Head to head matchup, you will see that the two teams have not yet played yet this season. Again, if you want to look at the over under, Toronto is playing in games trending over the line by. Here, red compared to the blue, you see the red line's at plus four, and the blue line's right here. And if you look at the Edmonton, they're also playing in games trending over. So playing the over is going to be a very smart choice in this one. How stable are the two teams? Let's take a look. Be wary of um, considering over underdog, excuse me, favored underdog stats. Favored underdog stats for Edmonton because they are at minus two. They're very unstable at the moment. And Toronto has been at plus six since November 30th, and they are consistently stable at that number. So what are we feeling as far as who's going to win the game? Well, let's take a look here. But I expect that Edmonton will probably be very good at home. I expect them to hold on to the home ice, winning this and another close game. A lot of these games are going to be close this weekend. A lot of great matchups. And we're going to take a look at one more here. It's the Vancouver Canucks and the San Jose Sharks. In this Pacific Division matchup, the teams are struggling in fifth and sixth place, respectively. Vancouver, you look here, at the head-to-head matchups, took the first game between the two teams this season back on November 2nd by a 5-2 score as a road underdog. That was a surprising win by three goals. Looking at the favorite under, uh, the over-under, excuse me, if you look at the over-under, you see that Vancouver is playing in games well over the line. San Jose is playing games well over as well. Over will be a very smart play here. I expect a very high scoring game in this one. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you see that Vancouver is at plus 14. San Jose was at plus 10. If you noticed just a, a short time ago, that, that trend was different. San Jose had a higher power ranking indicator than Vancouver. But that's because Vancouver now Look at Vancouver, they are burning hot at the moment. They have won three out of their last four. San Jose is ice cold down. They are on a four game losing streak and they really need to win a game badly to get back on track. Look at the volatility oscillator. You see that Vancouver is not very stable right now, just at zero. So, you know, don't really pay too much attention probably to their favorite underdog status. San Jose is at plus six. They have been real, very stable at the moment. So I, what I'm thinking here is that the Sharks will probably have extra motivation after, you know, losing the first one uh, at home. They're home again. So I'm looking for them to rebound, to break their four-game losing streak, and escape this with a win. So there's all the games for you that I'm going to take a look at. But I wanted to show you one more thing. So be, be uh, on the lookout for this. There's a video here. The Z Live Bot, Live Betting Signals. You can take a look at that and see what's going on with this. So, what it basically is, it's a new live betting strategy that predicts highly profitable bets on soccer, hockey, and baseball. There are two ways to follow the bot. You can use your Z code VIP Club, simply log into your account. Another good reason to join if you don't already have an account, you will have access to this. And then there's a whole bunch of things you can do. It says you can set the bot to send the browser push notifications and sound alerts so you don't miss the picks. You can scroll down through here and take a look at this and see what it's all about. There's all kinds of great, great tools here and great things you can do to help make your, uh, you know, bets more 
more profitable and you can see it's all wonderful graphs here as well that shows trends and here's a pie graph all kinds of great things so be sure to take a look at this it'll definitely help make your picks and make your picks more easily so there you have it enjoy the weekend happy betting and we'll see you next time